What is going on guys? This is putting a shadow on my face. Mm, shadows are a no-go. Get a haircut. No. We're gonna be doing a review over some back off rough cut mint. Out of focus camera. Can we get it? Can we get it? Good enough, right there. Back off rough cut mint. Back off is a no tobacco, no nicotine. Smokeless tobacco alternative that helps people quit dipping. And so, we're gonna be reviewing this stuff today. This is one of my personal favorites. Second to the Rough Cut Mint, or uh, Wintergreen. Got one thing on my mind right now. And so, looking at the label, it is a blue back off label, just like every single one of them. Oh, God. Pretty sure like all of the logos are the same. But anyways, mint, blue can, makes sense. And then for all of those, all you guys who want to know that there are the ingredients on the side of the can here. Other than that, pretty slick little can, all plastic. I've got some hiccups right now. Or like a burp, like stuck right here. I just ate dinner, had some duck brats. But let's go ahead and open this up. Take a whiff. And this is made out of pepper. This is made out of peppermint leaves. So it's very pepperminty, just like mint. So I mean, it kind of makes sense to make mint snuff out of mint. Very pepperminty, and uh, it smells very sweet. A lot like those little pillow. I don't know what are they called. Those little. Like the little soft mints that you get at like restaurants, not the hard ones, but like the soft ones that look like pillows. That's that's what this reminds me of. I guess a peppermint. I mean the same thing, candy cane, whatever. Same. Yeah, get what I'm saying. It kind of smells like a candy peppermint type of deal. Take a look over here. That is what she looks like in there. That is some rough cut mint right there. Let's go ahead and pack this on up and see how she packs. Three, because it's all you need. I still got it, boys. I still got it. Let's go ahead and take a look here. It packs down pretty good. Uh, yeah, you can see that. So, all in all, I mean, the packability is pretty good. And from all the rough cuts that I've had, actually just the mint and the wintergreen, that's the only ones I've tried. I think it's the only ones I've got is wintergreen and mint rough cut. But let's go ahead and take a pinch. The packability inside the can is pretty good. And I honestly think that the pinchability of this stuff is pretty good. It's decent. I'm wearing a black shirt, so it's kind of hard to see. So, all, I mean, it doesn't pinch as well as like actual dip, but it doesn't. it's not as hard to pinch as that fine cut stuff. But I got dip, man. <sighs> this rough cut is going everywhere in my mouth right now. I put too big of a pinch in. When you first put the back off mint in, it's kind of got a little bit of like a, a powdery texture to it, but that goes away pretty quick, just like the wintergreen did. I don't know if it's just because they add something to it or what. I'm not quite sure. Once you get it in your mouth and you get it in your lip, like it takes a couple, I mean, it takes a couple seconds to kind of get it situated just right. It's a little bit more work than like a normal dip would be because I don't know, these don't, it doesn't pack together, like intertwined as well as tobacco does. But still, this is, once you get it there, after the initial put it in, get it situated, once it's there, it's pretty rock solid. So the packability, I'll give it like an eight out of 10 because at first it's kind of hard to get it situated. But then after that, you're good to go. And the pinchability, I mean, it's like, I'd say it's like a seven out of 10 just because, you know, it, it's not as easy to pinch as like Copenhagen is, but still, it's not as hard as that freaking fine cut stuff. That was impossible. The flavor of this. This will like clear your sinuses out because it's so freaking minty, which I like that. I like a real strong mint if I'm gonna dip a mint, but I never dipped mint. Like I never dipped Copenhagen mint. Like I dipped it a little bit, like here and there. Like when it first came out, I bought a can and I was like, I don't like it. But when it first came out, like only in a couple different states and I tried it, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. So I went through those cans really fast, but I never, I was never really actually scratched that. I dipped skull mint for like freaking four months 
on end. I think I think after dipping skull mint for so long, I just kind of got I was done with it. So the flavor of this, it's it's very minty, very not quite like super overwhelming, make your eyes water, but it's it's very pungent mint. So if you like that, the mint is a good option for you. I'm gonna be giving away two six packs of back off. You can pick whatever flavor you want. And I'm also giving away a Mallards Bro t-shirt. So to enter in the giveaway, all you have to do is leave your Twitter, your Instagram, or your Snapchat in the comments below. Make sure you tell me which one it is so I can get in contact with you and tell you that you won. Overall rating on this, I would give this a, out of all the, like, we'll just go with like the back offs I've tried, overall rating. I would give this a nine out of 10 because I think that this is like the second best, or I mean the wintergreen and the mint, they're, I think they're tied for first place because they're both really good and they taste good, they pack good, they pinch really well. Like they're both the same thing except one's wintergreen, one's mint. So I feel like they're both kind of tied for first place at like 10 out of 10, nine out of 10, somewhere in there. Just if it was an A, B, C, D or F scale, these would be A's. Yeah. That's, that's how we'll do it. Go ahead and go over to dipstop.com and use the coupon code CJ10 and you can get 10% off your order when you go over there. Check it out. That's all I've got for you guys today. You can follow me on my Twitter or my Instagram, which is at Cope Junkies. I also have a Snapchat, which is real Cope Junkies. So follow me on there and have fun. I post some interesting stuff sometimes. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll catch you on the next one.